It's been a long time since I've done a, a video on my mill here, but I've done a lot to it here. Uh, just wanted to share that. I um, redid a lot of the wiring. This is, I've got, a lot of it is wood here, so it's still, uh, you know, prototyping, I guess. Figure out how it's going to work the best, and eventually I would like to, you know, do it all in aluminum. I got my emergency switch in there now, and I've got my adjustable limit switches back here. You can kind of see how I hook this uh, to the saddle, and underneath here on either end, right there is one limit switch popping through, and then right there's the other one popping through, and. Um, and I got this wiring out, um, quick connects on there. And again, a lot of this stuff will be enclosed once I get all the bugs worked out, then I'll make finished. And I still haven't finished the darn uh, Z-axis stuff. That's just terrible. That's that's on the to-do immediately. <laughs> and uh, wiring, there's my control box. And I've got a 50-foot parallel cable, which is uh, excessive. But it goes up to my control machine and uh, then right there. And I just got done scraping my ways. And, you know, uh, it, it, that definitely helped. But I also, <laughs> and I know I'm going to get rebuked for this from somebody, I'm sure. But uh, I, I uh, went ahead and lapped them. Some good old valve lapping. And... Two things about that that uh, that I've read and which makes sense to me is uh, one, when you lap something, uh, it takes all the little pockets out that you would acquire normally uh, from scraping, and those little pockets are what help hold the oil on the ways, and so you're getting rid of those. So it's uh, the potential for um, you got to stay up on the oiling, and the second thing is. Um, when you do use that, um, you got to make sure that you get it all off of there. Because if you leave any of that grit, and, and it'll embed itself into the metal. And so if you leave any of that grit on there, uh, it'll just keep working and working. And, well, you can imagine it'll screw things up really bad. So it flush it really well. Uh, everything I could t uh, take off, I put uh, over in the solvent tank. And uh, everything I couldn't, I flushed really good multiple times with uh, like brake cleaner and so forth. Blow, blew it, brushed it, flooded it, everything. Anyways, um, after doing that, I've got... Uh, oh, one other thing. Uh, in the past, I've often put lithium grease on my ways and so forth. And um, I've been seeing in the forums where everybody's like, Oh, don't put, don't put grease on on your waist and um, I, I'm not sure what their reason for that is or it's like uh, this thing that uh, everybody knows why but doesn't say and uh, I don't know why but uh, my so I would guess that it's because it builds uh, you know it can collect and hold a lot of uh, debris uh, dust dirt grease you know that kind of that'll build up um, your chips that might f get in there and hold that up and uh you know also um grease you know fail over time and get sticky and so those are the only two things i can really think of either way i cleaned it all out and uh recommend using a whey oil uh i don't know what whey oil is i guess i should research that but um for the time being i just figured a, a nice light oil good old three in one and uh thought i'd give that a shot and um, if not, I'll use some uh, oil for some of my air tools, a real light oil. And uh, now that i got it all back together, it works better than it has ever worked. And uh, I've got full range, which I've never had in the however long I've had this, six, seven years. I've never had full range on everything. So I thought I'd go ahead and um, demonstrate that. So I just got a real simple little... Uh, program I use I use Linux CNC myself um, here, but uh, just real real simple G code there. But basically, just does a little bow tie 
uh, to the, extre the uh, extremes. And so we'll go ahead and I'll run that and uh, show you. Love it. And so um, I've got right just barely at the Nats ass, I've got my four inches on my Y. And I'm actually just a little over 8.8 .8 on the X. And that's largely due um, to where I have, because of where I put my limit switches. And so, you know, if I needed a Two tenths of a, an inch that bad I'd probably figure out another way to do that but uh, that's not usually where my problems lie yeah and um, so yeah there you go just uh, wanted to share that I was so excited and oh and the speeds on it I'm running it uh, what is my travel my travel is like twice what uh, speed that it's ever been before and um, I'm still running the stock lead screws on here which are a 16 thread per inch and um, getting decent speeds out of it so um, and and there's there's no there's no play none it's tight I wouldn't say zero but uh, damn right there next to zero and I still a I, I, number of things I gotta do I'm still running the original uh, brass nuts in here which I definitely have um, backlash after the years of running this and um, so I got to calculate that into the software which you know for the most part takes care of the problem for me but uh some point you know when I as I upgrade and upgrade I'll get some uh, better ball screws but honestly I, I kind of like the 16 thread per inch um, it's not like I'm gonna run this machine any faster than that it's just it's not built for it and so you know you can't go hogging in at you know high speed with with a machine like this anyway so uh there you have it hey thanks for watching bye